Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. As you can hear the crickets, you already know, it's dinner time. I'm gonna try the pork loin. Garlic potato. Yo, I thought escargots were coming, bro, bro. Hey, man. I'm gonna really get myself in. Nothing about this. It's just, it's just what it tastes like food. You feel so? Food. It doesn't taste like food. You're not gonna have no slime in your teeth or anything like that. It doesn't taste like food. Food. That's it, that's it. I hope it's not slimy because I don't like slimy stuff. I want to give him my bread. It's bread? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's bread. bread. It's just the bread. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, that's fine. Okay. okay. As far as the enemy is in on the bread. All right, so I always have like a big conversation when it comes down to bread. I just think if you start off with a good bread, you have me so. What do you think about the bread? Not the best. I'll have both. Could be horrible. Not the best bread. Yeah, somebody work at National Bakery. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be biased here. This is one of the better hotel breads that I've had. Out of the last hotels, two hotels that I've been to, this is the best one. All right, so every time I talk about breads, it reminds me of when I used to work at a fine dining restaurant in New Jersey. So we had a bread very similar to this. It was like a French type of garlic bread. It was a nice little mound like this. They cut it in about eight pieces and it'll put like garlic and butter and herbs and chop it into the oven and trust me every time that went into the oven you could smell it in the entire kitchen this one is very reminiscent to that bread not exactly it but very reminiscent and i really appreciate the bread this is definitely a good one this, this is a freaking good bread i've had better no, From where? National Bakery? I don't remember where, but I just know. It's not memorable, I think I remember where it's No, I know I have better taste in garlic bread. But it's not like it's hard, but it's good bread. The best bread I've had to memory was at the Cheesecake Factory. Mm -hmm. There was this black bread, where it's like. And it was really oh, good. So black. But this go bread. Mmm. I don't know that, but you know, I see that. Mom, 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 Oh, Alright, so like I've mentioned to you guys before, I need to get a whole new lens set up because, yeah, it's better in low lighting, but for now, I'll come to these really nice, you know, lights there. Anyway, um, so we ordered the escargot, but my sister and I, I love bringing her along because she's super adventurous when it comes down to food. We heard the lady coming back to take her orders and we thought it was the escargot orders and my sister was like so nervous, she was just like, is it escargot? <laughs> You get the idea it's kind of scary but no i think we might enjoy this um i did put in an order for coconut fish and she put in the order for what you order again pork loin yeah she put in an order for pork loin you guys know i'm not really a fan but i'll do it for the video to see how good it is um it's a coconut fish so let's see if it's going to be able to wow me and um we had some desserts, but yeah, you guys will see what we got. And um, let me tell you, so far, I'm really appreciative of where we are because can you guys hear the ocean? 
it's ridiculous how close the ocean is to us great atmosphere great vibe if you're ever in the grill definitely check out the Sharela Inn nice spot oh I forgot to mention some of my subscribers did hit me up on Instagram and they told me like this is their spot all right so my sister is about to oh you got the pinkies up all right if you want to make it, I can sit down with the onion then mm -hmm. oh god my heart I hurt me your heart? <laughs> so the first thing you did to a snail was lick it. <laughs> it's no weird. Just go for it. I'm going out with things on. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to go through one whole heap ago. At first, when I put it in my mouth, mm -hmm. my texture kind of reminded me of mushrooms. Okay. Me personally. Okay. I'm kind of salty. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of did have one earthy taste to the end, but then if I just my mind to play with me, because mm -hmm. you know, I roam the grounds and things. Yeah, I'll do that too. I mean, I don't think it's my cup of tea, okay. but it's not bad, like, let's try it with the bread. I'm going to with some bread, I forget to steal that now. Alright. Alright, so usually in doing this, you got to wash out the pallets. Now, for me personally, traveling on food is always about trying something different. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. What I appreciate about Sharela doing this is it gives Jamaicans or persons who are familiar with this an actual access to the dish. I've never had this before. I've never seen it anywhere that I've traveled to before. So there's my chance for the moment of truth. All right, I'm just going to pick um, anyone up. This seems like an olive oil based sauce based on the color. Yeah. I don't know, but let's do it. To me, it's pretty good. I do, I do agree. It's a little bit more on the saltier end. But I'm wondering if that's just a escargot thing. It is probably it? is an escargot thing, but it's not the kind of salty. For example, you know, you eat uh, like a Jamaican saltfish fritter, and you're just like, oh, this salty. For me, it's not that kind of salt in it. Oh it's, it's it's perfectly fine. I do understand. My sister said it's a little bit gamey. But to be quite honest, if you compare an escargot or snail to a conch, which is a sea snail, I prefer this. I do. Mm -hmm. Texturally, mm -hmm. this is softer. What do you mean? Texturally, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it is softer. I think it's mind over matter. If okay. I'm not if I'm not mistaken, drop it in the comments, guys. I think the snails that are cooked are more cultured. Meaning they don't just, it's not really that wild snail just running up a boat. The public snails that live in an apartment. And <laughs> <laughs> I would say this, the food is really, it's really just mind over matter. Really just mind over matter. Um, it's good. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to actually try this dish. Will I go out and have it again? Possibly yes. Will I say, oh, I need to have me some snails? Probably not. And that's just a cultural thing, but really well done. If this is what snails should be like, I think they executed it pretty well. It's tender. And they remind me of mushroom. They, yeah, in a little way, for real. It's nice. All right, guys, already here, I feel like the service is for kings. It's really good. 
um, the waitress is super friendly and let me tell you those escargots are really pretty good like I thought that it would be something that would be like yo I'll never touch again I'll never try again I mean I've, I've tried some strange stuff for example crickets fried crickets or whatever that I'll definitely give a pass on the next attempt but the escargots definitely a mind over matter thing um, if you are interested in trying something unique as this and you're in the Negro area feel free to stop over by Shirella Inn they actually have the restaurants open so you don't have to be a guest here to actually try out the restaurant the food here so far is pretty good I am taken aback and I'm impressed with the fresh garlic bread it's ridiculous all right guys back again I have a serious question I want the answer to be dropped in the comments so like they say you are what you eat like, do you guys think the snails are gonna slow me down? So, what do you have in your money? It's a salad with, she said, a garlic vinegar. Then I'm gonna and I like garlic, so. How is it? Mm hmm. It's mm -hmm. good. Mm hmm. Come on. Yo, you look like you, you look like mommy or so. <laughs> Your avocados, tomatoes, lettuce, green peppers. Wow. It feels like the salad has like a very healthy dressing on it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I've never had a salad like this before. It's it's different, but I like this. Like a, like a salad, coleslaw type of it's a vinaigrette. Mm. These avocados are the avocados are what giving me the um the kind of coleslaw vibe because they got that mellow, yeah, and it's kind of sweet. The avocados. Good. All right, guys, it's me again. Let me tell you, I do not like vegetables. I mean, who does? I eat vegetables to survive. But the level of that salad just now, the complexity and how simple it was, I know it's a contradiction, it was really good. Like, now I'm looking at all plants differently. All right, so you guys know I am not a big fan of fish. Um, but I decided to try it because you know, a lot of persons out there are, and if they can, you know, surprise me with this, I mean, why not? It does smell very coconutty. Um, just looking at the, the texture of the, the sauce, it seems or appears to be like, you know, fresh squeezed um, coconut juice that made the milk. So, yeah, let's give it a try. Wow. The sauce is really good. Um, the fish has a nice amount of seasoning to it. This is good. I mean, if I love fish like that, I would say it's bossing. But um, yeah, this is really good. I, thought, I think my sister probably could try this for me and tell her. You eat fish, right? You like? I'm not a big fish. Not a big fish. Okay, cool. Like I like seafood, but fish not too much. The sauce is really good. Exceptional. Mm -hmm. Shut them up, my thing on. What did you get? You got the pork thing, right? Yeah. Huh? Garlic potatoes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What is a knife? Mm hmm. I don't like ginger and I don't like pimento. Okay. Key ingredients in this. Don't ask me why. This is nice. It's good. I mean, just looking at the coloration of the damn pork. I mean. You know, you're not too gingery, you're not too pimento, it's in nice. That, so if you like ginger and pimento, can I can I taste a piece of that? I, I mean, I took one for the team in terms of taking the fish. Mm. 
nice subtle hints of ginger and cream. It tastes like something mommy would have made. Mm, exactly. Mommy, like a, mommy, make a nice pork. mommy makes a really nice pork. Mm -mm. And it's a compliment to the chef. I think when you can make a dish kind of homemade, like it has that home type of cooked style thing mm -hmm. to it, it's really good. More the pork. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my stomach is so happy and so full. But here comes the black forest cake a la mode and i was not expecting the cake to look this good like this doesn't seem stir bought and my sister has a kind of a what is that like a flan mm -hmm. you've never had anything like this with it the juice <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have triplets now. <laughs> it's good, right? We can't go finish this. Mm -mm. It's a cruelty. Jeez. I love caramel. Mm -hmm. So. Just a juice, just in juice alone. It's nice. Mm. Alright, so let's try this out. It looks good, but it tastes good. Oh wow. So I am not the biggest of cake fans. Nothing too sweet. Ice cream I love. But let me tell you. Wow. Wow. It's a great combination. It's like there's cake and cream. Like a whipped cream on top. And the tanginess. Whatever is that tanginess that comes in the black forest, like it's kind of red thing. It's just wow. Like a small jelly layer. It's a very minuscule one, but this this exceeded my expectation. I just chose this because I was like, alright, I love cheesecake. I always have that. Let's see what this is about. But this one, wow. There's nuts in there. Nuts? I didn't taste any. Maybe. I think that the bottom. Okay. Interesting. I've never had one like this before. You don't. I'm not a big black person, to be honest. So. It depends on who makes it for me. But um, pretty good. Love it. Alright, so we think the, the tanginess from the black forest is from the cranberry sauce or whatever it is. I've had a flan once from the gas station. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. That's my first induction to flan. This is juices for me. I think the gas station did it well too because this tastes um, pretty much like it. You know, it's, it's I don't think it's called a flan. It's like a custard. Yeah. Come here, eat you something like a, 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 a B I U order. Nice. It's really good. All right, guys. So it's the end of the night, and let me tell you, man, I am exhausted. You guys might have noticed that. At some point you were seeing like a video every single day after my trip from Montego Bay from Nigeria to Montego Bay back to Kingston I did a lot of editing so that you guys can have videos and I hope you guys appreciate it if you guys appreciate having videos constantly drop a like on the video or just drop a comment and just say so excited I'd appreciate that um, let me just say a big shout out to Sharela in 
no joke the food here has actually exceeded expectations um it's a very nice and very romantic old school Jamaican feel here um, the people are very friendly and the food is very good what's so surprising is that I was told that the chef that is in the kitchen tonight is not even the actual chef I believe it's a chef that does like you know the appetizer or whatever but dude whoever you are or sis whoever you are in the kitchen you did very well tonight and I appreciate all the dishes that came out um, I'm excited about tomorrow's breakfast I hope to catch you guys in the morning I'm gonna catch some sleep right now but Remember these three things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.